What's up guys, it's me ESO with the latest news on The Witcher. Adam Kaczynski is the CEO of Project Red, the creators of The Witcher 1, 2 and 3 and the soon to be released Cyberpunk. Recently he did an interview with a Polish company that I cannot pronounce the name of. In this interview though, when asked about The Witcher series, he had this to say. And finally, the question that all players ask themselves will be The Witcher 4. The first three Witchers were, by definition, a trilogy, so we simply could not name the next game The Witcher 4. This does not mean, of course, that we will leave the world of The Witcher created by us over dozens of years, who love and still demand the players around the world. The Witcher is one of the two franchises on which the company operations are going to be based in in the future. Today, unfortunately, I cannot reveal anything more. And with over 33 million copies sold, it's no surprise. And I'm sure, anyway, we were all expecting another Witcher game from CD Projekt Red at some point. But now it's clear that this is one of the two projects that the company is going to be working on in the future. So where does that leave us? What's the next step for The Witcher? Well, since Geralt's story has come to an end, we will likely see a new playable character. Now, one of my favourite things about RPGs is the idea of creating our own character like in Skyrim or Fallout. So in this case, will we actually be able to make our own Witcher character in the game? This is a really interesting question to me, because unlike many of Bethesda's games, The Witcher on the other hand is narratively driven and it includes a lot of intriguing characters with very deep backstories that are woven in your own across all three games and this really leads to some fascinating storytelling that is unrivaled to most other games I've ever played because they simply revolve around the main character Geralt and his history and without that you might not be able to have that same level of storytelling and this actually makes the story even more sincere and believable in my opinion. So in essence, I don't really think it's CD Projekt Red's style to have a nameless Witcher character with no backstory. However, let's consider their latest game, Cyberpunk 2077. It's going to have its own character creation system with a named and voiced protagonist. But now, with an option to play as either female and male, and both of those are going to be voiced as well. There's even going to be a variety of classes to choose from, which is really interesting and I think is a big step away from what The Witcher 1, 2 and 3 with Geralt actually did really well. So I'm intrigued to see how Cyberpunk 27 actually comes along. And I think once the game is released to the public and dependent on its success, we will then have more of an idea of where the creative direction is heading going into the latest installment of The Witcher. But I can definitely see us actually making our own Witcher character. Personally though, I think it would be really cool to have a new Witcher game based in a different time period of the game and CDPR have already built an incredibly immersive world that they can easily draw on and expand on. There are so many ideas and potential things you could do with a series like The Witcher and I'd personally love to start a new character in The Witcher game as an apprentice and go through Witcher school. I think that would be a really cool idea. For me personally and how I define what a role play game is, I always felt The Witcher was limited because you were always making decisions within the confines of Geralt's personality. And to some people I think this can be off-putting when compared to a game like Skyrim or Fallout, which to a point allows you to role play yourself or another character that you made up. This can give you more of an attachment to your character than you would have to Geralt. That said though, I think The Witcher actually has far more consequential decisions in it than I encountered in Skyrim. For example, the ability to just completely remove one quest line and never experience it. The developers weren't scared of actually doing that. And there's only a few quests in Skyrim I can think of which had that same situation. And I think that really comes down to good quest design, not necessarily having a named character with a backstory. Sadly though, this is not going to be coming out anytime soon. Currently, the company's focus is on Cyberpunk 2077, which of course also looks very exciting. Not to mention Gwent as well. But CD Projekt Red are currently not a huge company, but they are expanding. But you can expect another Witcher game, which is fantastic news, even if it is far away. What it's going to be like, your guess is as good as mine. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you want to see more news videos, go ahead and subscribe and press that bell icon as well, because then YouTube will let you know when new videos come out. But thanks for watching me, ESO, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.